So let's say you have to get in to do some really close distance work. You're getting that tool holder really close to the wall of the part, maybe the edge of the part, maybe your work holding. If you're using traditional ER call it holders, you may be stuck with something like this. That's a lot of tool holder you have to avoid. Plus, since you're using a spring collet, you're only holding on to a little bit of that tool. Maybe you have to hang it out real far. Conversely, if we look at heat shrink, look at a tool holder like this. You have way less neck, so you can get a lot closer to the part. You can get in there in areas where it's kind of sketchy. The other thing is, is, since that entire body is actually shrinking around the part, because of the concentricity and run out, you're actually holding on to way more of that tool so while I wouldn't recommend hanging stuff out this far all the time, if you have to, you're gonna be okay. We actually just did some A2 parts where we had to do an internal slot. So we had to stand the part up on an angle and get in there real deep, and it worked out great. So keep this in your arsenal if you ever need it, because if you're doing four axis work, five axis work, this is gonna come in handy.